The word of God in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7 says, Throw all your anxiety unto him because he cares about you. Dear child of God, the Lord cares about you. The Lord is concerned about everything that is a concern to you. And he says you should bring everything that makes you to worry. Everything that makes you to bog your mind every day. Everything that makes you cry. He says that you should throw each and every one of them upon him. Because he cares for you. His love for you is so wonderful. That he wants everything to go well for you. He doesn't want you to be burdened. He doesn't want you to be stressed in any way. So he says, bring all your anxieties. Bring all of your worries. Bring all of your heaviness. Bring all of your pains. Because I would fix them. Because I would undo everything that is a problem to you. Dear child of God, he said that you should come to him. He said you should come to him with those heavy burdens. And he would give you rest. He would take off those burdens off you. He will take off those loads off you. And then he will bring rest to you. Dear child of God, it is time you go to the right source. It is time you go to the one that can change everything about your life. It is time you go to the God that can do all things. In Luke chapter 1 verse 37, it says with God, nothing is impossible. Everything is a possibility with God. So which means what has been a burden in your heart? What seemed impossible all of these years? What has been a difficulty to you all of these years? It is time you take it to God. You take it to the one that can do everything. You take it to the one who nothing is hard for him to do, nothing at all. He said nothing is too hard for him to do. And then he will fix it. So look up unto him. Fix your eyes upon him every day. And bring those challenges. Bring those burdens of your heart to him. He wants to give you rest. He wants you to find peace. He wants you to find happiness. So he doesn't want you burdened in any way. He doesn't want you crushed in any way. Dear child of God, go and ask God and say, Father, you are my God and you are my Father. You are my Lord. You are the God who said you would make all things beautiful in my life. You make everything beautiful in your time. Please make the things around my life beautiful. I've waited for so long for a change. I've waited for so long for a miracle and it has become a burden. It has become a stress to my heart and God will fix up everything. He says you should cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Dear child of God, worrying will not add anything to your life. Worrying will not even change anything. But when you go to him, and say, God, I'm confident in you. And say, God, I turn it all over to you. I turn my challenges, my problems, my difficulties, my fears, my worries to you. And I know you can do something great out of it. I know you can do something and bring beauty out of my current predicament, out of my current situation. I want to assure you, dear child of God, the Lord that you serve, the God of heaven would make the best out of it. You see, David would go to God in Psalms 123 verse 1. And then he said, I look to you, heaven dwelling God. I look up to you for help. Who do you look up to for help? When you have those burdens, when you have those challenges, who do you look up to? When those things are coming right in front of you, those things that wants to crush you, who do you look up to? Do you trust in the arms of the flesh? Do you go to people who on their own also have burdens and challenges? Do you go to people who by themselves have issues to fix? Or do you go to God? The God who says that you should come to him with every of your burdens. And he will lift them from your shoulder. He would bring you rest. He would make sure you have every reason to rejoice. Yes, you have been asking the question. When would I get married? I've waited and waited and waited. Dear child of God, he says, cast 
every of these anxieties. Cast every of these cares upon him. He knows what to do about it. Because he loves you, because he cares for you, he will let you know the things that have been clouding your judgment all of this while. Dear child of God, he knows the way that you should take. He knows the things that he has planned for you. That is why he said that you should trust him. That is why he said you should hand over every of these things into his hands. You see, when he said that those that believe in him would not be put to shame, in Romans 10 verse 11, he really meant it. He doesn't want you to be ashamed. He doesn't want it to be said that you trusted in God and he disappointed you. Never. He doesn't want it to be said that you put your faith, your hopes and your confidence in God and he failed you. He doesn't want that to be said. So go to him. Go to the God that have said he will not put you to shame and see what he would do. Go to the God of all possibilities and see how he would make everything turn around for you. Go to the God that have said he would do everything to make your life beautiful. Go to the God that have said you would come into your time and your seasons of blessings. Go to the God that said your set time has come. Your set time for a favor has come. Go to him and say, Lord, these are my burdens. These are my challenges. These are the heaviness of my heart. Please turn the story around. I have cried night and day and I've become tired of crying. Dear child of God, yes, you have wailed, you have sorrowed, you have lamented. You have asked the Lord times and times again, when will it change? When will my situation change? The Lord is coming to you with this word right now that he has heard all of your cries. He has seen all of your cries. He has heard your prayers. And every of your supplications have come to him and is going to do something about it. He heard every time you spoke to him. He saw you when you were wailing. And then he's telling you, you are going to have your testimony. You're going to have your bundles of joy. Those people that were burdened to you, just hand them over to God. Let him deal with them. Those people that brought the anxieties, those people that made you worry night and day, that made you scared of your life. You say that you should cast them over to him. You should bring their matters to him. And then he will take it up and turn it around. Dear child of God, do not worry about those people that have been laughing at you. Do not worry about those people who have made mockery of your current situation. But look to God. Look to the one that said he will give you rest. Look to the God that said he will fix your situation. Look to the God that said he will turn everything around just because he cares for you, just because he loves you, just because he's concerned about you. He would make everything work. So have you been praying for a life partner and it has become a burden to you? Just look to God. Cast it all over to him. Say, God, it is over to you now. I've tried, I've done all that I could. I've tried to work it out myself and I did not make any headway. And you will see God fix it. You will see God do something beautiful and something wonderful to change the situation. Just say, God, I trust you. Have you been waiting to have your own children? Have you been waiting on God to bear your own fruit? Have you been waiting on God? To see that you have your own bundle of joy. Just tell him, Lord, I cast it all over to you now. I know you know how to go about things. I will just wait to receive my testimony. And I want to assure you, you would receive that testimony. There is nothing that is tossed to God. There is nothing that we cast into the hands of God that never returned with a testimony. So do not burden your heart again. Yes, that business failed. But God knows how to fix it. Just cast it all to him. Yes, you have done all the very best you could do. But nothing seemed to work. Just cast it all to him. You have tried the very best to see that you make amends with those people who had been very malicious against you. You have been very angry. Yes, you made a mistake. But he's saying, cast it all to me. I know how to fix things. I know how to fix it all for you. Just trust me. Put your hope in me. Look up unto me. He says he's the altar 
and is the finisher of your faith. He knows how to start a thing and he knows how to perfect it. He knows how to make your life beautiful. Yes, he has kept many things in store for you. He has many beautiful things he has kept for you. Dear child of God, I will begin to receive each and every one of them because he's saying to you, it is your time to rejoice and your time to testify. So cast your bodies upon him. Cast your cares upon him. Cast those burdens and challenges of your heart to him. Dear child of God, the Lord will strengthen your heart. The Lord will strengthen you and take you out of that trouble. He will turn the situation around and he will give you a testimony. Dear child of God, I want you to know that God is with you and God will take you out of that problem. He's telling you be of good courage. He said he will strengthen your heart and he said he will give you hope. You will see light at the end of the tunnel. He's saying to you the situation will change and everything will turn around. He's telling you very clearly that those problems, those troubles, those situations, those circumstances that have been unfavorable, he's telling you today that they will all bow out, each and every one of them. You would look for them and you will not find them. They will go far away from you. He's telling you it will give you strength and you will come out tops. The word of God in Psalms 31 verse 24 says, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. Dear child of God, as long as you hope in God, as long as your faith, your trust, and your confidence is in God, he will not disappoint you. He will strengthen you, and he will see you through. He said that you should be of good courage. These words were said also to Joshua. He said he should be of good courage. He should not be afraid that the Lord has not forsaken him. Dear child of God, the Lord has not forsaken you. And so you should cheer up. Yes, it is true that there are problems. It is weighing you down. It is true that there are situations that you don't even want to speak about. But he's telling you, he will strengthen your heart and your hope will not fail. He's telling you, you will not be put to shame. He's telling you, you will not be disgraced. Dear child of God, God is with you and he will calm the storms. He will calm all of the tempest that you are in right now. He will bring a solution, a solution that will cause your heart to rejoice. He will bring a solution that will cause your heart to be glad. Dear child of God, when the troubles blows around you, when the wind storms, when the problems are everywhere around you, know that the mighty hand of God will come and he will push it far away. He will see to it that everything is turning around for you. The Lord will bring that deliverance. And he's telling you, it will come very quickly. The word of God in Psalms 55 verse 8 says, I want to deliver myself quickly from those windstorms and tempests. Dear child of God, it is true that you are tired. You have already given too much into that challenge. But he's telling you this day, he's coming through for you. And his mighty hand will bring that solution. You will see that solution that you so seek. He has heard your cry. He has seen every of your tears. And he's telling you, he will give an answer. He will show up. He will strengthen you. And you will come out strong. He will confound every single one that had begun those problems. He will confuse them. And it will cause you to be ahead of them. It will cause you to be above them. Yes, they wanted you to sorrow, they wanted you to cry, they wanted you to lament. They have been fighting your home, fighting your marriage. They have been fighting your businesses. They do not like to see you progress. Every time they see you making progress, they bring something to bring you down, to pull you down. But the Lord is telling you, He will strengthen you and those problems will be no more. Yes, they have become violent against you. They strive against you. They make troubles with you now and then. But he's telling you he will bring his deliverance quickly. And he will turn this situation around. He's telling you he will not give you to the wishes of your enemies. They will not gloat over you. They will not rejoice over you. And you will discover those problems, those storms, those situations will bow out. They will fade away like a smoke. They will disappear. 
Dear child of God, trust in the Lord, for he had promised to give you the blessings of peace. He would make sure you enjoy rest because you love him, because you serve him, because you trust in him. Dear child of God, this peace will not elude you. The blessings of the Lord will not be far away from you. So he's saying to you, be of good courage, be strong, thick heart, because he had won the victory for you. He had fought these battles for you and he's telling you, you are already more than a conqueror. Just because he loves you, he's telling you, you are a winner, you are the victor and you will come out strong, you will come out on heart. Those problems and those situations will not even believe their eyes when they see how you dusted them off you. Dear child of God, they wanted to break you, but the Lord is telling you it will strengthen your heart. He said it will strengthen your soul. The word of God in Psalms 29 verse 11 says, The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will give his people the blessing of peace. Dear child of God, firstly, the Lord wants to give you strength to be able to stand. He knows that many people are looking up to you and he doesn't want you to break. He wants you to be strong for them. And he's telling you he will strengthen you in the face of that opposition. He will give you strength so that you'll be able to encourage the rest. He's telling you keep on moving, keep on going. Do not stop because you would have the victories. Dear child of God, you will have the victories. At the end of the day, you will have a reason to rejoice. You would have a reason to testify. So those fighting your marriage, is telling you those problems and those troubles they have brought into your marriage, each and every one of them will be gone. Those problems that they had brought in your relationships, that had brought issues, challenges and troubles that seems to be unresolved, is telling you those problems will be gone. You will look for those problems and you'll find none of them because he wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free. So keep calling on to God because he's telling you, he will answer. He will show you mighty things that you know not of. Call to him. Cry to him. Express your heart to him. He will show you the deliverances he's bringing your way. He will show you all the things he wants to do to turn this situation around. He says, call unto me and I will answer. And I will show you mighty things that you know not of. Dear child of God, there are still great things that to happen in your life and in your family. There are still some awesome things you would experience in your marriage again. There are still some beautiful things you would experience in your life. So do not allow those problems to break you. Do not allow those problems to get you down. Do not allow those situations to get the best of you. Do everything to be strong. Do everything to take courage. Do everything to keep marching on because you will testify. Psalms 138 verse 3, the word of God says, When my cry came to your ears, you gave me an answer and made me great with strength in my soul. He is going to give you that strength that will make you great again. You will be greater than where you were before. Dear child of God, when you come out from this trouble, when you come out from this challenge, when you come out from these problems that the enemies have thrown around you, Dear child of God, you'll be far greater than you were before. And the people who had caused it will be surprised. They brought a problem to Joseph and they thought that would destroy him. He took him to prison. But when he came out, he became greater. He became stronger. That the people who had brought that problem would have thought we probably wouldn't have brought that problem upon his life. I'm sure the wife of Potiphar, seeing that Joseph had gone ahead of them, would have preferred it to go another way but this is how god operates so dear child of god remain there remain firm stand your ground and tell yourself i know when all these challenges are gone when these problems are over i'll be better i'll be stronger and god would have given me more power god would have elevated me above everyone who had brought these issues and these problems in my life Dear child of God, the Lord himself will confound them. He will confuse their speech, all those who are bringing problems in your life, and he will send them very far. He will send them so far away from you that you will not have them disturb you ever again in your life and in your family. You would enjoy the peace of mind. You would enjoy the best of God. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. So as he has promised you the blessing of peace, he will ensure that it comes quickly and it comes into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So trust God to make everything good because he will perfect everything that concerns you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will not put you to shame. So he said, have faith, have trust in me, have that confidence in me. I will not disappoint you. The Lord God that you serve will strengthen you. He will give you the blessing of peace and you will have a reason to rejoice all the days of your beautiful life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.